Nearly 11 million people are behind on one or more of their bills and this winter the cost of living crisis is only going to get worse before it gets better. Hey everyone and welcome to The Savvy Squaddy. In this video I will be showing you how to budget your income using a custom made spreadsheet which I will make from scratch and that you can download for free. Budgeting your money, whilst it might seem boring, is so important, but you actually need to be disciplined to see the benefits materialise. It's no good allocating set amounts of money to certain expenses and then not to stick to it and go over budget. That's not helping anyone. Budgeting holds you accountable for your spending and opens your eyes to just how silly some of your expenses actually are. By having a budget and sticking to it, you will save money and with the current financial hardships we are facing, every little helps. Before we get into it, there are loads of different ways to create a budget. My way is not the only way. That is why I'm showing you how to create one from scratch. You might not like how I've laid out or organized this budget, and so you might want to create your own one that suits your specific needs better. By watching the creation process, you will be able to take away the relevant information you need to create your own. You don't need to be a spreadsheet guru. For those of you who would like to download it, the link is in the description below. A Google account is required to use this spreadsheet as it makes use of Google Sheets. It is free to set up a Google account and to use Google Sheets. A walkthrough on how to download and use the spreadsheet is later on in this video. Right, let's get into creating this bitch. So once you've signed into your Google account, search sheets.google.com and then you will be brought to the homepage of Google Sheets. Then to create a new spreadsheet, click blank. Your spreadsheet will now load and a very first important step is to go to file and then settings and make sure your location is in the UK. And this is due to the wrong way the Americans write their date and it causing confusion when formatting the date. You can rename your spreadsheet by double clicking the title in the top left and typing in whatever you want. Now let's make the monthly income table. First we will highlight three cells by clicking and dragging across them and selecting the merge cells option. This makes the three cells into a single cell. Then type in monthly income. Use the return key to go down a cell and the tab key to go across to the next cell. You can also navigate cells using the up and down left and right arrow keys on your keyboard and also by using your mouse. Now in row two, input the titles, description, date and amount in separate cells next to each other. And then in the description column, place in the various different streams of income that you get on a monthly basis. Leave a cell blank and then type in total income. The date column is where you input the date the money is coming in or when it is going out on bills, etc. To format the date column, so when you input a date it appears a certain way, click and drag to highlight all the cells under the date and then go up to format and then number and then select the preset that is already there for you. Type a date in to then see if it works. I personally don't like this format and I like to see the abbreviation of the month rather than the number of the month. To change this, highlight the cells again, go format, number, and then to the bottom where it says custom date and time and select your preference from the options. You can now see the date format has changed. Just to note, when a date is populated in a cell, you just need to double click on the cell and the calendar pops up for you to be able to select another date. Next, we will format the amount column into currency. Highlight all the cells and then press the pound icon on the toolbar. Then type in a number to see if that formatting is correct as well. Once that's done, we are now going to do the first formula to give us the total monthly income from all of our different sources. So click on the amount of total monthly income cell and type in equals sum open bracket and then highlight all the amount cells except the total monthly income amount, close bracket and hit enter. That £1,200 should now populate in that final cell. If we add another amount, we will see it gets added to the total amount. I'm just making the next two columns narrower as they will act as borders later which you will see when it comes to sprucing up this spreadsheet. The next table we will make is the distribution of income section. The process is very similar to the monthly income table. Highlight three cells and merge them so they are one and then type in monthly distribution of income. On the next row under that type distribution, percentage sign and not date like I just did and finally amount in each cell. Under distribution input needs wants and savings investments debt repayment each in their own cell under one another if you hit return to go to the next line whilst in a cell it will just make you go to the cell under it to start a new line within the same cell then you need to hold control and option while pressing the return key if you're using a mac on a pc hold the control key while pressing the return key 
Then finish off that column with the total cell. Next, highlight all the cells in the percentage column and click the percentage sign in the toolbar to format these cells as percentages. Type in your percentages to make sure it all works and then do the sum formula to get the total of your percentages column. This needs to equal 100 and I will show you later on how to make that cell turn a different color if it does not. Now we want to calculate the correct amount that is needed for each distribution and to do that we will use another formula. In the cell for the amount allocated to needs type in equals sum open bracket and click on the total monthly income cell multiply that by the percentage cell for needs close your brackets and hit enter. This will then show you how much of your income is allocated to your needs. Do the exact same for the other two distribution categories. Once this is done, we now want to get the total of all of that allocated money by adding all three distribution amounts up. If all done correctly, it should then equal your total monthly income. The next table we will create is the total leftover amount. Create this the same way as the other tables and inputting total income and total expenses in the description column. Format the date and amount columns as previously shown. The total income amount cell needs to show the same amount that is in the monthly total income cell. To do this, type in the equal sign and then click the total income cell and hit enter. We'll come back to do the total expenses cell later once we have made those tables. To figure out the total amount left over, we need to subtract the total income from the total expenses. In the total leftover amount cell, type equals sum open bracket, click the total income cell, then the minus sign and click the total expenses cell, close your bracket and hit enter. Now we can create the expense tables. Firstly, we are going to make one overall title called expenses by merging a bunch of cells into one. We will create the needs table first the same way as we have made the other tables. Under description input your expenses which are needs, things you actually need to survive. Netflix and Mackie D's are not needs, they're wants. Once you have inputted all your needs finish that column off with total spent and total allocated. Then format the date and amount columns as necessary. Next up is calculating the total spent amount by using the previously shown formula and then linking the total allocated amount cell to the amount allocated for needs in the distribution table we made earlier by clicking the equals and then the correct cell in the distribution table. Once done, highlight that whole needs table, copy it and then paste it over to where you want your next table to be. You then just need to change the needs to wants and input all of your expenses that are wants. The total spent formula will be carried over and correct but you still need to reassign the total allocated to the correct want cell in the distribution table. Do the exact same thing again but for savings investments debt repayment and change the relevant information not forgetting to update the total allocation cell to savings investments debt repayment amount cell in the distribution table. Now all the expense tables are finished we can now add all expenses up to populate the total expenses in the leftover table. To do this click the total expenses amount cell and then type in equals sum open bracket then click each one of the total spent cells in each expense table with a plus sign between each one, close your bracket and hit return. That is the whole spreadsheet table now complete. All that is left to do is to make it look less hanging and to add some conditional formatting which will help highlight if you go over budget. I will speed through the beautifying process as it is just a case of increasing font size, font color, cell color and adding borders around the table. The tools of which can all be found in the toolbar. Play around to your liking. Now that is all done, I will show you how to add conditional formatting. Our first victim is the total percentage cell in the distribution table. Click the cell and go to format and then towards the bottom click conditional formatting. A new dialog box will show up on the right hand side of the screen and this is where the magic happens. So for this cell, we want it to turn red if the number in the cell is not 100, as that then shows that 100% of your income has not been allocated for a purpose. It will also show red if it's over 100 as you can't allocate more than 100% of your income. To do this, we make sure the cell range is on the cell we want and we change the format rules to text does not contain and input 100 into the box. Change the color to red and therefore, if there is any number in that cell other than 100, the cell will turn red. Give it a test to make sure it's worked. Next, we move on to the cell adjacent to this one and this will have more than one rule. The first rule is to make it blue if the amount in the cell equals the total monthly income. And the second rule is to make it red if it doesn't equal that. 
Same process as before, but this time the rule we need is equal to and not equal to. And in the box below the rule option, you need to type equals and the cell location of the total monthly income. For me, that's D8. And then test it to make sure it all works. The next cell that will face this treatment is the total leftover amount cell. Here we want it to turn green if we are overall still in budget or red if we have gone over budget. So if it is above zero, it is green. And if it is below zero, it turns red. This will also require two rules using greater than or equal to for the green option and less than for the red option and zero being entered into the empty box for both rules. And again, once done, type in some numbers to make sure it works. You can see here that the amount left over has turned red as we have gone over budget, but the total spent has not turned a darker red, even though we have gone over the allocated amount. And that is what we will go on to next. Adding conditional formatting to the total spent cells to turn a darker red if it is more than the total allocated amount. So click the total spent cells in the needs table and go to conditional formatting. We will be using the greater than rule and under the rule option in the empty box, you need to put in the cell where the total allocated amount is for the needs table, which for me is D22. Remember to put an equal sign before it. Turn the color red and hit done. Test out to make sure it works. Do this again for the other two expense tables, making sure to update the total allocated amount cell within the rule to the relevant table. And finally, test to make sure it's worked. That is the spreadsheet complete. You can now use it to input your own distribution percentages to suit your own personal needs, wants and savings investments debt repayment goals. Or you can use the techniques I've just showed you to create your own spreadsheet altogether, whichever you prefer. But if you don't want to create your own one from scratch, then the link to download this one is in the video description. But let me show you how to download it and use it using a scenario in which the circumstances of a hypothetical family change and hopefully that will help you visualize the huge benefit that a budget can have. So when you click on the link, you will be brought to a page like this. Click make a copy as this will create a copy of the spreadsheet and save it to your own Google Drive, which you can access wherever and whenever and will prevent you from editing the master copy and f***ing over everyone else who wants to download it. Once it opens, you will notice it is slightly different from the ones we just made. Along the bottom is a different sheet for each month. If you want to create an extra sheet, just right click and select duplicate and to rename it, do the same, but select rename. Let's click on October spreadsheet and we'll work from that one. On the right hand side are some instructions on how to use the spreadsheet. If you want to add more rows then click or highlight some right click and select insert rows above. Add and delete specific expenses to suit your own situation and you can go as in depth as you'd like. If you want by having gas, electricity and water as all separate expenses instead of just coming under utilities, it's up to you. Just make sure you are honest with yourself in deciding whether it is a need or a want. This also includes the distribution percentages pre-filled. Don't think you need to keep them at 50, 30, 20. The distribution is up to you, but it just needs to equal 100. So let's look at our populated spreadsheet from a hypothetical family where both parents are employed and see how they spend their money. We can see they have a total monthly income of just over 3,500 pounds and they have chosen to distribute their money in the ratio of 50, 30, 20. So they have £1,800 allocated for needs, £1,000 for their wants and £700 for their savings, investments, debt repayments and they have stayed within their allocation for each expense category. We can also see they are in budget as the leftover amount is more than zero and it is showing up green. They can do what they want with that leftover money. Get an extra takeout for a treat, overpay debt, add it to savings, buy a luxury item. It's up to them. The important thing is they have stayed within budget and they are living within their means. But what happens when one of them loses their job? Well, all their total expenses turn dark red due to now being over the allocated amount and the total left over is also red as they can no longer live the same lifestyle they used to without going into debt, which is not a good idea. So they need to cut back on their expenses and redistribute their income to stay within their new budget. Let's see how they manage it. Firstly, if one of them has lost their job, they no longer need to pay for childcare, so that can get cut. Car insurance, broadband and phone will stay the same, but again, as one of them is no longer travelling to work, fuel costs will go down. They can also cut down on their food shop by buying cheaper options. Utilities and mortgage stay the same. So now they have decided the new amount they require for their needs, they now need to readjust their distribution to make sure the correct amount of money is allocated to cover their needs. 
This will then help allocate new amounts for the other two expense categories as well. It might take a little trial and error before getting the correct ratio. So 65% is the magic number for the needs allocation and now they just need to change once and savings investments debt repayment so the ratio equals 100. This now gives them their new once allocation amount and will help them decide what they need to cut within that category. Things like family days out, takeaway, fun money are easy options to cut back on. Once they cut back on those they were within the allocation but they realised they could also completely cut clothes shopping so they readjusted their distribution so more money could then go towards the final expense category. Moving over to the final category of savings investments and debt repayment, they cut both their charity contribution and contribution to their child's savings. They then cut back on the amount they save into their different saving and investment pots. Once they have done this, you can now see that even though they are over the allocated amount for that expense category, they now are actually green overall in the total leftover cell showing that they are now overall within budget. Now, through some quick trial and error, they can redistribute their income percentages to make sure each expense category has enough allocated to them to cover the costs. They have now successfully redistributed their total monthly income to account for the loss of one of their income streams. They are still able to live within their means even though they now earn less. All they had to do was cut back on a number of things. With the help of this spreadsheet, they were able to see where all the money went and what they could cut back on. I really hope that after seeing that example you now understand the importance and benefits of having a budget and sticking to it. As soon as you know how much you will be getting paid, fill it in so it's ready for you to go when the new month starts and check your spending against it weekly, it doesn't take long. This is not an expense tracker, it is a budget, but people do use the two interchangeably and there is no right or wrong way to do it. It's whatever suits you and how you want to organise and monitor your finances. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. Also, I would love to hear if you would now use this and if it's helped you out. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you just saw, please hit the subscribe button up there. And if you want to see some more videos, click over there. See you soon.